hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC using link to SQL class how to bind records from database into a table and here we got the final output the EMP table is displayed in this table element using link to SQL class in MVC that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Link to SQL Bind click OK and from the templates I'm selecting MVC4 click OK and the project is created successfully let me close this default window open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding one link to SQL class right click the project name I'm selecting add link to SQL classes and the item name I'm changing to EMP class click OK and here we got the link to SQL dot DBML class is added after that open server explorer now in the server explorer under data connections I'm adding the database I click the data connections add connection I'm adding SQL server name is after adding server name then I'm selecting the database name sample DB is my user database I have selected that one test connection is succeeded okay okay and here we got the sample DB dot DBO is added under data connections now let's expand the sample DB dot DBO here you can find the objects of this sample DB I'm expanding the tables object and the table is EMP table just drag and drop on the .dbml page uh, after that open solution explorer I'm minimizing the references folder and in the controllers folder I'm adding a new controller right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting the controller empty click add the controller name is EMP controller add now let's write the coding part in the action result index method in this action result index method the first thing I'm adding the my data context which is a EMP class or DBML EMP class data context I'm creating object DC is equals to this is the object is equals to new EMP class data context after that I am creating a variable EMP list is equals to from x in dc dot the object is the EMP tables select x from x in dc dot EMP tables select x is a link query to get the employee details from this employee table in the return view method I'm adding the EMP list object this one that's it we have done the coding part so only three steps after that after that to view the results we require the index view page which is a CSHTML page but the most important before adding the index view page we must build the application fast build build solution and here we got a message the build succeeded let me close this output message box now highlight the action result index right click that one add view the view name is index only the template I'm selecting the list template and the model class the model class is the EMP table. Let's add that one. 
after that I'm not adding any data context class and in the options make sure the reference script libraries and user layout page both are tick then click add and here we got the index view page the table data is automatically added to this index.html page I don't require this action links I'm deleting this one I just want to display the EMP table records in a index view page on the browser let's add the header let's change the header employee table that's it we have done the complete coding part we have added the data context class EMP class the controller and the index view page but before run this application the most important is we need to change the controller name then open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config.cs file open that one and notice in the route config.cs file the controller is a home which is a default one but our controller is the EMP controller this one EMP let's add this EMP in the controller and the action is the index page only which is this one index view page that's it we have done everything now it's time to check the results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output the EMP table is displayed in this table element using link to SQL class in MVC that's it